All right, let me record. Please, I have some people still coming in. I'm just going to wait a couple of more minutes and then we're going to get started. Um, is there anybody have any question? I need a calculator. Okay, so um, if you need a calculator, there is a calculator online. And I can show you how to download the uh, calculator. Let's get started with the calculator itself, and then uh, we'll start the meeting. All right, welcome everybody. This is Mr. Abdel, of course. Uh, many of you know me by now. Um, so, all right, let me just uh, get down. All right, let me put it here. Let me go my cursor here. All right, let's go ahead and get started here, and I'm going to talk to you later on about how to. Um, um, how to download the graphing calculator online and uh, it has the same exact functions as uh, the school calculator. There is no um, difference whatsoever, the same thing, um, except it's like TI-83 and the calculator from uh, school, it's like a little bit um, more updated. All right. So uh, today we are gonna be talking about the topic. So if you do have your notebook or anything, I would really appreciate it if you can just get it out and uh, try to write whatever we're doing here. Um, I mean, like, it's the same thing as a classroom, all right? So uh, we are going to be talking about solving polynomial functions, solving polynomial functions. And uh, I would like for you to go ahead and get started on this. Um, if I want you to solve, and we did go over this one in the classroom before, so please go ahead and try to solve this for x. Question number one, if I have uh, x squared one x squared plus two x plus five equals zero. All right. Try to solve it, and I'll give you like a minute to solve it by yourself. If you can find something, great. If you cannot, that's fine. And just in the chat box, write it down if there is, and if you got the answer or. If you don't know how to do it, just type it in the chat box and you should be able to see it.
All right, anybody came up with anything here? Come on, nobody. Do you guys see the chat box in the bottom? All right, I'll wait. All right, I got Matthew got negative 2.5 over 2. Are you sure? Okay. Uh, okay. I don't want to miss. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started and see how this works. First of all, if I try to uh, use the uh, um, factoring method, it's not going to work because there is, there is no two numbers. You multiply them to get five, and when you add these two numbers, you got two. It is not going to work. So the best and easiest way to can find this one is to use the quadratic formula. So let's write this down here, the quadratic formula. If you don't remember it, um, it is okay. If you don't remember the quadratic formula, we're gonna write it right now. So, and just try to remember it. That is something you should remember it by now uh, for, um, in the future tests, SAT, ACT exams, or uh, math three or math four, so on and so forth. So the formula is negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus four AC divided by two A, where A, so in this question right here, I'm gonna write in A equals B equals C equals. All right, in the chat box, what is A? Come on, quickly. All right, Kaylee, one. Okay, the x squared is not a. x squared is the first one. So a is the coefficient right here, which is one. All right, what is b? All right, it should be two. Okay, perfect. All right, how about c? It's supposed to be five. So this is a, b, and c. Let's put in the formula. So that would be x equals negative b, which is two, negative two plus or minus square root of b squared, which is two squared. And I prefer to put b squared in the parentheses like this, minus four times a, which is one times c, which is five. Oh, we can see that. All right, divide by two times a, which is one. All right, let's find a value for this one here. When you find the value of this, let's pay attention to this carefully here. Yes, this was math two, but we need it for today's lesson. What happened here, first step, you will need write down negative two plus or minus first, and then the square root of two squared minus four times one times five, you can always use the calculator to do that. So that's four minus 20, supposed to be square root of four minus 20, negative 16. Supposed to be negative 16. Divide by two. All right, anybody knows what is the square root of negative 16? Come on, please write it down the chat box. All right, is it four? Is it for real four? Let's see. If I share my calculator with you here, uh, let's see if I can get this here. Here you go. 
All right, can you see the calculator? Can you see the calculator? No, okay. Uh, can you see it now? All right, if that's fine, I will work on this one for next time. But anyway, the square root of negative 16, if you put this in the calcul calculator, it is not going to, uh, let me go back here. If you put it in the calculator, it is not going to, uh, it's gonna give you an error or not real number. So the square root of negative 16, uh, give me one second. All right, square root of negative 16, square root of negative 16 is equal to the same thing as the square root of negative one times square root of 16. Square root of negative one, if you remember this from math two, it is the same as i. So that is i times the square root of 16, which is four. So that's the same as four i. All right, so if I'm gonna get back here to the question and Let's do this. So that's going to be x equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16, which has got it, which is 4i divided by 2. All right. So, and the next step to simplify this one, you're going to have to do either or. Either x equals negative 2 plus 4i divided by 2 or x equals negative two minus four i divided by two. Either this one or the other one. All right, now to simplify this one, can I rewrite it like this? And please let me know if you're confused here. Can I rewrite it like this? x equals negative two over two plus four i over two. Please write in the chat box if you don't understand it. Okay, if you understand it, type one. All right, if you don't understand, type two. Okay, let me give you a side note right here, quickly. All right, let's cover everything right here and think about this. Let's think about this one. If I give you something like, 2 plus 4 divided by 2. How do you solve this one? Obviously, 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. All right, can I write it like this? So the answer should be 3, right? So if I write it like this, 2 divided by 2 plus 4 divided by 2 is the same thing. 2 divided by 2 is the same as 1 plus 4 divided by 2, which is the same as 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Sure. I'll slow down a little bit. Okay. Let me give you another example. If I get six, six over three, plus, uh, let me just change that, plus uh, six over three plus nine over three equals what? So solve this one, basically you have the same like the denom common denominator, you keep them, three down here, six plus nine, and you put it six plus nine. If you wanna look at it backward, six plus nine over three is the same as six over three plus nine over three. Let's carry this, let's carry this to our problem right here. Negative two plus four i over two is the same as negative two over two plus four over two. All right. So 
You want to simplify it a little bit more further. So negative two divided by two is the same as negative one plus four i divided by two, four divided by two, which is the same as two times i. Any question? If you're gonna do the same thing, okay, if you lost, I'll go over one more back similar to this. All right, same thing, we're gonna do the same thing with the second one. Negative two minus four i divide by two is the same as negative two divided by two minus four i divided by two. That will be negative two divided by two is the same thing. And the minus, four divided by two, which is the same as two i. All right, if you lost, it is okay. Just keep it like this for now. Let's move on to the real problem from math three, and we're gonna come back to this one after that. All right. Uh, let's uh, get into Desmos. All right. If you have access to this one, it is okay if you don't right now. Uh, if you don't, it is okay. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna explain it to you in a few seconds. And we'll go over it in a few seconds. All right, if I give you a problem like, this one right here. Uh, x cubed minus x squared plus 5x. x cubed minus x squared minus x squared plus 5x plus 5x minus 5 equals to 0. All right. If you got a problem like this and you want to solve it and you must know how to do it manually, uh, on the final exam, you're not gonna have it uh, as like uh, a multiple choice question. It's gonna be like some kind of, they're gonna ask you in the middle of the question, drag and drop. Um, and you're gonna have to show your work at some point in the test and find it. How do you solve a problem like this cubic function? I'm gonna do one by myself and I'll give you a few minutes to do another one by yourself. X cubed minus X squared plus five X minus five. Obviously you cannot factor this one because it is not a quadratic equation. But what you can do here is, first step. First step, you need to graph it. Can you graph it on Desmos or the calculator and find the first root or the first zero. If I graph this one, it is gonna look like this. If I graph this one, it will look like, uh, give me one second. So if I graph it in my calculator, uh, let me see what I can do here. If I graph it, I am just trying to type in x cubed minus x squared plus 5x minus 5. So when I graph it, my calculator is going to look like Okay, let me get here. It will go to positive. Okay, so on your Desmos, if you graph it on Desmos, or calculator is gonna look like this. This is positive one. So the graph is gonna look like something like this. All right. So where is your root? If this is one. Where is your root? We did this in the class multiple times. What is the root here? Remember, the root is the same as the solution, is the same as x-intercept, is the same as what else? 
root x intercept solution and uh, zeros are the same. All right, so the first root here, right here is one. So that means the first solution, the first answer is x equals one. Okay, remember one thing. What is the highest exponent right here? What is the highest exponent in this equation right here? It is cubed. What's the highest exponent? So the highest exponent is three. Since the highest exponent is three, that means you're gonna have three solutions here. You're gonna have three solutions, all right? So we got the first solution, which is x equals to positive one. We got it right here. That's the first solution. Okay, now let's get to the second step. Your second step, you're going to use synthetic division to find the other two roots. Let's use synthetic division to find the other two roots. Okay, how do you use synthetic division? Basically, the first root is one. That's your first root. So you're going to put it right here, positive one. All right. And now I got this equation. I'm going to divide this equation by positive one. All right. Can you help me to put the numbers? If you can type in the numbers beside each other and leave a space in between. One number should go here. Come on. I need at least 10, 15 answers. Come on. So it's supposed to be positive one. Good job, Tahir. Good job, Shay. Azaria. Positive one. Matthew. The next one is, see right here, negative one. So it's positive one. Negative one, positive five. Leave a little space. Negative one. Positive five. And negative five. Great. Now let's solve that. How about you take a few seconds and try to solve this one and find the answers. All right, x squared plus zero x plus five. Let's see. No remainder? Yes, you're not gonna get a remainder in here. You should not get a remainder. It's supposed to be a zero. That's a good point, Azaria. It is okay. You don't have to include it. That's fine. I know what you mean. What you mean? Um, all right. All right, can I go over it now? All right, so here's the way you do synthetic division. This is a quick review on what we did last week in the class. Positive one, we're gonna bring the positive one down. That's your first step. And then you multiply positive one times one. You multiply this. 
one times one is equal to one right here. Okay, and then you add negative one plus negative one is equal to zero. All right, and then you do the same thing. Multiply zero times one is equal to zero. Five plus zero equals five. And do the same concept. Multiply five times one equals five. Negative five plus five is equal to zero. And that will be a remainder. Remember, the remainder must be zero. It cannot be anything else in this kind of question. Okay? All right, let's get back to whatever we just started. All what I'm asking you to do right now is to solve this equation for x. Okay? And you must get three solutions. When you graph it, most of the graph, and I just let me tell you from, from now, on the test, you're gonna have only one x-intercept, something like similar to this. You're gonna have only one x-intercept. You graph it, you got this point, the x-intercept, and that will be your first solution, which means we're missing two other solutions. Your second solution, and the third one, to find these, you're gonna have to use synthetic division, synthetic division, and after I get the synthetic division, I got the equation right here, which is x squared plus 0x, which is, you know what, let me write it, plus 5 equals 0. And that is the quadratic equation right here. Now, we need to solve this quadratic equation to get the other two solutions. And that will be your third step right here. Your third step is... I want you to use the quadratic formula I want you to use the quadratic formula to find the other two solutions All right We're going to use a quadratic formula. I want you to take a few seconds, a few minutes, a few seconds, whatever you want to take. And I want you to use a quadratic formula. Here's a quadratic formula for your reference. Let me pull it from here. Uh, quadratic formula. All right. And let me put it down here for you. So I want you to use this one right here. And use the correct formula. Find the, and find answers using the correct formula. Uh, OK, 
Okay, do you get anything? Okay, let me go ahead and go ahead and, and solve this one. So I got A. A equals one, B equals zero, C equals five. So that would be X equals negative B. So it's gonna be negative zero plus or minus square root of B squared, which is zero squared minus four times one for A times C, which is five. Divide by two times A, which is one. So give you X equals negative B plus negative zero, which is the same as just zero. So it's gonna be plus or minus square root of negative four times five, that's negative 20. Negative 20, divide by two. Okay, now your final answer will be either or x equals square root of negative 20, obviously because, the, obviously because there's a negative inside the square root, so it's gonna be i from the outside, square root of 20, divide by two, and remember you cannot, but not ever, you cannot cancel the 20 with the two, because in reality, this is not 20. This is square root of 20, all right? So you cannot. And the other one, x equals i, oh, sorry, negative i square root of 20 divided by two, all right? You can leave it like this for now. I'm not gonna bother with the simplifying the equation and if, for any reason, if you see the question, for example, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna see it on Canvas in a few minutes when we get to Canvas. Um, it's uh, right here. So when you see it on Canvas, it's gonna look like this. All right, which one will be the answer? Um, what you need to do here is you're just going to put this into the calculator. When you put square root of 20 divided by two in the calculator, all right, we get square root of 20. Divide by two, it is going to equal to 2.23. So that will be X equals is gonna be x equals uh, i times 2 point, uh, it's gonna be 2.23, or 2.4 actually. i times 2.24, or x equals 2.24 i, with the positive or the negative. So here is the positive, and the negative is negative 2.24 i. So which one is that the answer gonna be? If you try, uh, if you try, obviously the answer, the first, the first, uh, the first X value, we got it right here, which is X equals positive one. All right, so the answer should be either A or B. It cannot be C, it cannot be D. And obviously it's not B because it's 2.24, that is a square root of five. So that, that would be the answer, choice A. There is no shorter way to solve this problem. If there, if there is, I'll be the first one to tell you. Obviously if I give you a question like this, like this one here, and I want you to solve it, you can always graph the X cubed minus X squared plus five X minus five and to put it in, submit it to Desmos and see where the graph intersects the x-axis, gonna intersect the x-axis at just one point, and that will be the real solution. But the imaginary solution, it's unfortunate, you're gonna have to do it by hand. You're gonna have to do it, all right? So these are the three steps. Step number one, one more time before I give you a problem to do by yourself. Step number one, 
when you see a problem like this, you're gonna graph it. You can always go to Desmos in your um, web page, whatever you got. And all right, here's Beyonce is here. Welcome, Beyonce. You can go to Desmos and graph it and find X intercept. Step number two, use synthetic division where the positive one goes into the box right here. And step number three, step number three, use quadratic formula to solve the problem. All right, I'll give you about two to three minutes. All right, I'll give you two to three minutes to try to do this problem by itself. It is okay to get it wrong. It is okay if you don't know how to solve it. That would be fine. Uh, let me give you this one right here, very similar to the other one. All right, take a few minutes and do this by yourself. If you have any question, you can always send it in the chat. I will pause myself for a few minutes till you're done. Once you're done, just type done in the chat.
Oh, yes. Okay. I'm sorry. So I grabbed it on Desmos. And when I grabbed it, I was lucky and I found three different dots, uh, three different X intercepts. And the, uh, and the, so the solution will be two, 1.732 and the negative 1.732. But again, most likely on the test, you're not going to see it like this. Probably going to see it. Oh no. You're probably going to see it like this. Something like this, where where the x intercept is going to be just one point. I'm just making up some numbers. All right. But as of right now, here, first the step you want to find one point as your x intercept. You're going to find one point as your x intercept. So obviously, I'm not going to pick this point because it's not it is not a um, an actual rational point. It's irrational. I am not going to pick this one. I will pick this one, the two and zero. And that would be my first point. So let's go back to the, um, let's go back. Uh, let's go back to the, uh, my, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let's you share. There you go. All right, can you see that? Let's. Uh, all right, can you see this one now? All right. So, how do you solve this one here? What we are going to do now is we're going to follow the same steps. I'm gonna follow the same steps. When I graph it on Desmos, this is what I got. I got this one, this one. So I got something like this, where this point right here is positive two. So your first step, I got X equals to positive two. That's my first step. Okay, now we need to find other two roots. We're gonna follow the same thing which is I am going to make my box right here. I put two inside the box and let's put the numbers. There is one right here and this is negative two. So I'm gonna put one, negative two, negative three, positive six. And now let's try to find the solution here. I will bring the one down one times two is positive two, gives me zero. Zero times two is positive two. Add negative three plus two is negative one. Negative one times two is negative two. What's wrong here? Am I doing anything wrong here? We should not see a remainder. x cube, I put the one down, one times two is two. Oh, you're right. Okay, thank you. Got it. <laughs> My fault. All right, negative two plus two is zero. Zero times two is zero. Zero times two is zero. Negative three plus zero is supposed to be negative three. Did you know why I know it is wrong? Because negative three times two, it has to be negative six. Because the remainder must be zero. The remainder has to be zero. It cannot be anything else. All right? So the answer will be x squared. As of right now, x squared plus zero x minus three equals zero. All right? And now, what you need to do here is identify a, b, and C. A is one, B is zero, C is negative three, and let's use the quadratic formula, X equals negative B, which is gonna be negative zero, plus or minus square root of B squared, which is gonna be zero squared, minus four, times A, which is one, times
times C, which is negative three. Divide by two times A, which is one. It gives you x equals positive or negative. Obviously, negative 0, it's just 0. Cancel out. Positive or negative is square root of uh, negative 4 times 3. That is positive 12. Square root of 12 divide by 2. If, if you want to simplify the square root of 12, that could be Square root of 12 is 4 times 3. That will be 2 square root of 3. If you don't remember how to do this one, don't worry about it. Cancel the 2 with a 2. The answer will be positive or negative square root of 3. How? Okay, if you don't know how to get to this point, it is okay to leave it like this. It is fine to leave it like this. It is okay to leave it like this. All right, it is okay to leave it like this and just get to the calculator, put square root of 12 divided by square root of 12, divide by two, the answer will be 1.73. So X is equal to, X equals to 1.73 and uh, actually, or x equals to negative 1.73. So here you go, I got three different solutions. The 1.73, negative 1.73, and the other one that we got earlier today, which is x equals positive two. All right, I hope you understand it now. We only did two problems, which is okay. As long as if you understand it, everything will be fine. All right, uh, now which one will be the right choice? Obviously, 1.73, it's not, it's not five. Square root of negative five, square root of negative five is, or square root of five, it's not 1.73. It's not one and negative one. It is not i's, we don't have any negative number under the, uh, uh, under the uh, square root, so the answer must be. Okay, so here's the deal. I understand it is a uh, online, it's not the same as the classroom. And uh, today I tried to use a um, smart notebook, which is not smart. I usually use the uh, Microsoft Word. It's a lot easier, a lot simple, simpler, and, and, the, and the font is smaller so you can see it and it fits better into any uh, device such as laptop or iPad or even cell phones, smartphones, sometimes fits a lot better. Anyway, um, next time I'm going to use Microsoft Word. It's a lot easier than this one. Um, I am going to post all the work into your Canvas. You will see it in Canvas. And um, try to do as much as you can. Try to do as much as you can. And um, we'll go over it next time. We will be meeting, as of right now, we do have, I have a um, meeting tomorrow. We do have a faculty meeting tomorrow with Mr. Burlington and um, the rest of the faculty, and we'll see what or where they are planning to do next. Um, so, and I will let you know by next time. Please check your email, your school email, check your, uh, the text messages that I send you. Uh, you can always get in touch with me on um, when you go to CapGrade. Um, let me just show you. Uh, let me show you something here. When you go to CapGrade, can you see that one? When you go to CapGrade, at the bottom of the of the uh the website you can always chat with me i'm always live i'm like if i'm not sleeping i'm always there all right and i always respond to the messages it just pops up to my cell phone and i just respond to messages that's the easiest and quickest way you can find me remind of course but the problem with remind is that we are i am limited to 140 
uh, how do you call it? Hundred like um, uh, letters. Hundred forty letters. So it's like Twitter. Um, so it's easier if you can just get to the cap grade. That would be a lot easier. All right. What else? Any thing you want to share it with anybody else? Uh, if you're a little bit confused, I am going to share this video with everybody on Canvas. And the notes, of course, will be shared into Canvas. You can always, um, you can always uh, get back to it and watch it. Um, and that's it. Any question you have for me, I will be here for the next five minutes. If you have any question or anything, we can um, uh, I can go over it. And I hope you guys are safe, your parents and all your family is safe. Uh, please try not to go out, uh, stay home. Um, and hopefully you can uh, get this. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. All right, so the test, uh, regards to the test. When I left last Friday, I had a lot of meetings and um, I wasn't able to get to the test. I graded them, but I wasn't able to put them in power school. As soon as they opened the, the, uh, the building, I will go in and the first task, I'll put those test grades in. But let me tell you something, most of you got hundreds and nineties, so don't worry. I don't think I have failures in that test. You guys did a great job. You're amazing. All right. Anybody have any question? You know what? Or what I can do now, I can take off that zero and you should not be able to, it's not going to affect anything in your grade. Let me take it down today and um, and uh, when I get the grades in, uh, I can put it in. Yes, we are finished as of right now. I'm going to uh, upload everything on Canvas. I uh, should have it in the next few minutes. And, um, and I'll see you on which day? I'll see you on Monday at 6 p.m. So try to be in before uh, 6 p.m around 5 45 and uh the thing is when someone joins the class after 6 p.m if i don't see them i am not going to be able to admit them and it happens for a couple of you came late in today um and when you come late it shows in my log like by the end of the class when i end the, the session it shows in my log who came in late and who uh left the class early uh, and what time uh, exactly. So just make sure you're um, in on time. No, you're not joining in tomorrow. Uh, you're gonna be on Monday, today's Thursday. So we're meeting, as of right now, we're meeting on Mondays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Yes, next section will be, session will be on Monday. We have no idea. We have no idea if, if the EOC is going to take place on or in January or sorry in June or when the uh, quarter gonna end. Uh, I'm trying to get everybody into this. Uh, chat room and uh, try to do the online uh, tutorial um and i have no idea i have no idea we're just gonna wait until uh wake county public school system uh come up with some kind of a plan and we're all gonna follow it i mean june not january If you are a junior and taking the SAT or ACT, as you know, it is canceled and it's postponed to somewhere in uh, uh, somewhere in uh, May, I believe, in June. And most likely, if the situation is not going to improve, it's going to be postponed again.
whatever you're hearing from the rumors, that is not true, Joanna. Uh, you're just going to have to wait for the county. Uh, we don't have anything official yet. And as soon as I get something, I'll text you or email you or um, chat with you, whatever, but nothing. No, we don't hear anything from them yet. Nobody knows anything yet. Again, nobody knows anything yet. We're just waiting. We're waiting. Anybody have any uh, thing good for the group before we uh, finish this meeting? All right, so when uh, you come in next time, this time it's just a, uh, um, it is just get to know how is it going to work next time we're going to have access to uh kahoot and have access to canvas while we're working here i'm going to show you some of the stuff on canvas next time um you're going to have access to work together in groups so i will divide you next time into three to four people per group you work together share the work and then i will unmute someone and uh you will take the and you'll be able to present what you know and what you came up with but i did not do it this time just i want you to get the feel of how it looks like this time if you are late and that if you are late that's okay i will share the video online on canvas just go to canvas in the next hour or so and you'll find the video the work the notes and everything and you should be able to follow all right so if you are done you can uh, just close it in the meeting and i will end it in i'll give you like another minute or two if you have any question um and you can always chat with me on capgrade.com or remind or send me a text message that's why anything all right see everybody on monday all right have a good night